<clears throat> um, hi, today I'm going to be dis discussing the 10th anniversary of Pitch Perfect. It was good, but a little crude. I was not expecting that. And it could have been shorter. <laughs> it just could have been shorter. And uh, the music was by Christoph Beck and directed by Jason Moore. I love the songs. It was a great selection of songs. It was based on a book. It, and it seemed like one of those movies that didn't have a complete script. And they were just letting the actors ad-lib who could ad-lib. Like Rebel, Wilson, and Ab Divine. I wanted to see more of Jesse, Luke, Benji, Lily, the other girls in the group, her, Becca's dad, Kim, any of them in classes or at the job, and some of the other acapella groups. Some of, a couple of them were real. And the actors really learned how to sing acapella. And it was filmed at LSU and there was a screening held for the students. It's interesting that there's no sex scenes. I mean, they talk about sex a lot, but they don't do it. It's fam divine thought it was a baseball movie, which I can kind of see that. I kind of would like to see a movie, baseball movie called Pitch Perfect now. Um, and it, and um, I wish I could understand what Lily was saying. It was funny at first, but after a while, it became annoying. And just some of the things she was saying were, um, you guys want to see a dead body, and I set fire to feel, to feel joy, and I ate my twin in the womb, which is really weird, but I feel like I've heard that somewhere else, like that's actually possible. And to me, uh, Cynthia being a lesbian didn't seem forced into this story. She just happened to be a lesbian, but they made too many jokes about it. I mean, I don't know if, if the actress... Was it is a lesbian? I don't know. I mean, I just, I just didn't feel like it was forced like nowadays. And Jesse is correct about those movies having the best score: Rocky, E.T., Star Wars. And I can't remember the other ones. I love the riff off scene. That was really good. While I didn't like the vomit scene, I liked the continuity and realism of keeping the vomit there. Some, because sometimes characters vomit and the, dis, and the vomit just disappears later. To me, since it's a, it's a movie about acapella, the credits should have been acapella. But I mean, I mean, overall, I really liked it. It was a really good movie and um, I'd like to see the others. Yeah.